Have you ever wondered how these inhaler parts are made? Well, we're coming today to Galway Tool and Mold to find out how they're made and how they've reduced the cycle time from 40 hours to eight hours. Now this inhaler part, uh, Mark, it yeah. starts off as kind of like plastic, uh, plastic beads, doesn't it? Plastic Can you tell granules. us, in plastic yeah. granules, how, how does it get made? In the injection mold process, here we have a core that we've manufactured for the inside of this part. Absolutely. So this would fit on. Uh, this would be the inside of the component. Inside um, of the component. Absolutely. And let's talk about this component now. Um, this needs. There's a lot of requirements placed on uh, on this component. And what are those requirements? If you had to pick out some certain requirements that maybe our audiences maybe aren't familiar with. Um, the big requirement is surface finish. This is a, a fully polished surface finish that's coming straight off a high-speed machine. Also, a big requirement is flash-free. In other words, all your shuts have to be good. And shuts, let's just, can you dig in to tell me what exactly is a shut face? Where two pieces of steel come together and you have the end of your molding area. Say so this would be your shut around the bottom here, your plastic would mold down to here, and your steel stripper goes around the outside, stops the plastic. Okay, brilliant. So this is a, basically like a ceiling face. Ceiling face. And the plastic that comes in, that would be a, like some kind of high pressure, right? Yeah, about 200 bar. Wow, which is huge. And I mean, the, the highest pressure bar you can get on a machine tool, maybe 120, 150 bars. So this is, possibly. we're talking really quite high pressures. High pressures, yes, and fast. Brilliant. So it's not just the surface finish you need on a ceiling face. I guess you need good dimensional accuracy as well. Good dimensional accuracy. It's, it's only the inside of a part, but the dimensional accuracy is required because other parts that have to fit in here. Everything has to be on, in position so it can accept parts in the back, parts up the back of it again. What I find fascinating is this big rotors machine, the big five axis, can use a little 4.4 millimeter end mill um, and, and cut all of these little slots absolutely fine. How do you know you can trust the machine to run lights out, to run after hours with such small and fragile um, cutting, cutting tools? Um, I suppose it's the history we've had. This is our third rotors, our first one in 2007. I got that machine new myself, so I ran it for six years maybe. So uh, the trust with the machine, that the machine will do the work first time, every time. Brilliant. Do the work first time, every time. You can trust a rotor's machine here at Galway Tool and Mould.